Hi everyone, I am Tiago, a conservation biologist at Mossy Earth, and I want to give you a brief introduction to our next rewilding project. So this time we are focusing on a group of strange animals that have adapted to live uh, in these incredible submerged caves in Croatia. The Ulm is probably the most famous among these creatures. It is a blind cave salamander that can live up to a century and spend an entire decade without feeding. It is also one of the 10 species that David Attenborough selected as the ones that he would like to save from extinction if he had to choose. Another interesting species that can be found here is the Croatian dace. It's a small freshwater fish whose last remaining population can be found living inside this cave system. And finally, this cave is also home to the world's only known species of cave freshwater sponge. In this cave, one of the main issues seems to be pollution, because the cave entrance has been used as an illegal a waste disposal site for centuries and this has resulted in about 16 cubic meters of solid waste to accumulate inside the cave. If nothing is done, the degradation of water quality could contribute to the extinction of these species. At the same time, because this is a source of drinking water for the local population, the pollutants could even end up harming human health. To prevent this from happening, we have uh, joined forces with expert cave biologists and cave divers from the Croatian Institute for Biodiversity, and we are planning a cave cleanup operation. If we manage to remove the most dangerous waste, then we will be helping to give these species a better chance of avoiding global extinction. And we may even give them an opportunity to recover to their previous numbers. What's more, we will be preventing the unnecessary contamination of a very important source of drinking water. I think it's amazing that we're getting this project started and that we're actually building a global community of members that make it possible to take action that's really positive for biodiversity. So I'd like to thank all our members for really making this happen. If you're interested in the project and you want to learn some of the, the details behind it, you can read all about it on our website. Cheers! <laughs>